Hi guys! So I went shopping today, but before I get into that, I just want to explain why I haven't uploaded my eyebrow tutorial yet. I know I keep saying that I'm gonna do an eyebrow tutorial, um, and the reason for the delay is that I need to pluck my eyebrows, if you can see all those stray hairs down there, but um, it's just, I've been kind of lazy I guess, and um, I really don't like plucking my eyebrows because it's really painful for me, like I start crying and everything, so um, if I do get them plucked soon, which I probably should, maybe tomorrow, then I'll go ahead and do the eyebrow tutorial, but if I don't, then um, I might just do it anyway because like the quality when I upload on YouTube, it isn't like as good as when it's actually the quality on my camera. So you might not be able to see the stray hairs, so um, yeah, that's why. Okay, so first I went to Laura Mercier and um, I mentioned before that I wanted to get the mineral primer to go with my mineral powder foundation from Laura Mercier. So um, my mom got this for me today and basically it just comes in the standard Laura Mercier tube, which I love. It's um, 50 ml, so it's a really generous amount of primer. And I believe this costs about uh, 25 pounds. And so basically it's a mineral foundation primer that creates a smooth invisible surface for mineral powders. It's oil free and it has a skin nourishing formula that dries soft to the touch while minimizing the appearance of pores. So basically it's a um, cream consistency, it comes out white, um, it dries clear and it dries to a powder finish which is ideal for um, the application of the powder mineral foundation. So. Um, yeah, it's supposed to ensure that your mineral powder applies evenly and lasts longer for a naturally flawless look. So um, I'm excited to try this with my foundation. I mean, I've tried it before, like in the at the makeup counter, but I haven't tried it on my face for a full day. So I'm excited to see whether this really makes my foundation last um, all day and like maybe control the oil a bit. So I'll be reviewing this soon along with the mineral foundation. Um, next, I lost my Shiseido eyelash curler, so I just got a replacement. Nothing exciting. Um, I love this one because it's more flat, if you can tell. So it fits my eye shape more. Um, it's basically supposed to fit like Asian eyes better than the standard eyelash curler, which is more curved. So yeah, this was um, about twelve, maybe 14, 12 to 14 pounds, something like that. Not too bad. Um, and the rest of the stuff I got um, are clothes. So I went shopping with my mom today, so most of this um, she got for me. So, okay, um, at Bershka, I got a romper, and I always wanted a romper because it's like really in right now, and I think they look really cute. So I just got like a basic black one, which looks like this. It's just, it's strapless, it's got little shorts with pockets, which is awesome. And then it's elasticated here, so it just goes on like that. And this is size medium. I think it's better to go get something slightly looser because it'll be more flattering and it means that you have um, like extra room uh, around the stomach, which makes it, it's supposed to look like that, a romper. You're supposed to have a bit of extra fabric um, above the elasticated waist bit. So um, it's like looser. And then the shorts bit will also be a bit looser, which will be more flattering as well. Um, and then... Also from Bershka, I got these sort of um, baby, like powder blue denim shorts that I wanted when I saw them in London, but I ended up getting the floral denim shorts instead because, um, I don't know, I wanted to just pick one, but I really wanted both. So um, this is them. So this color and they're folded up, which is really flattering. It makes your legs look longer and thinner. Um, I love the color and I love the buttons, they're like this, they're like metal buttons and they've got little stud detailing and the back is like that, so I really like these and they were, what is that converted, probably about, it's about 15 pounds. Um, I think that's actually cheaper than London because in London uh, it was like 20 pounds, so yeah, I don't know why that's cheaper in Hong Kong. And then boring cotton pads because I ran out. Um, and then at Massimo Dutti, I got this really, really gorgeous scarf. It's like white with um, little blue poppies, if you can see, and it's sheer. So it's a summer scarf. So that's that. Really nice. 
Um, I think it would look great against like a white t-shirt, that would be perfect, or even black. Um, and then at Zara, oh this is a scarf from Massimo Dutti that uh, my mom got. Massimo Dutti is great, it has a lot of like nice stuff and it all looks really like elegant and clean and quite earthy. So this is the scarf that my mom got, which was the scarf that I, I was first drawn to. It's sort of like a bit Middle Eastern inspired, beautiful colors, and this will also look great against like white, navy, black. Um, yeah, so that's gorgeous. And then from Zara, I got three tops. I got this cropped t-shirt, um, which is really cute. It's size medium. I probably should have gone with a small, but I think medium sort of uh, fits this style. So it's sort of like loose and drapes nicely and I just think it's really cute. It looks a bit retro and it's got um, a teddy bear standing on its head and underneath it says "Om." Um, this is relaxing. So that's really cute. It's just plain at the back. So yeah, that's from Zara. Um, also from Zara, what is this? Oh, this isn't mine. This is a dress my sister got but I'll show you anyway because it's really nice. Uh, this dress is from Massimo Dutti. It's grey and it's, oh, it's inside out right now, but it's got that sort of shape at the collar. So it's a wide neck and then it sort of um, has like this, it drapes down a bit, which looks nice. It's sleeveless and then it comes with like this dark brown belt, so that's really nice. But that's not mine. Um, next from Zara, I got this really cute floral shirt because I'm loving florals right now. So uh, this is also inside out. It looks like the Kath Kidson print, if you can see. Um, so it's white with little pastel floral floral pattern, and it says California Heat, California Heart, and um, it's got suspenders, which I think is really cool. So, yeah. And then the last thing I got from Zara is this. It could be a top, it could also be a dress. I think I'll be wearing it as a dress. But because it's very sheer, um, I'll probably wear like shorts underneath, probably just denim shorts or something. So let me just sort this out. Okay, so it's just really loose and drapey. Um, it's really wide. And then it comes with, um, it's pretty short, but um, you know, it's good. You can also use it as like a, uh, like a beach dress, like over your bikini, and it comes with this like little braided, um, white braided rope that you, um, obviously you tie around the waist, and that makes it really cute, so I can't really show very well right now, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's all I got, um, that was probably a bit short, but I'm really happy with all my, um, purchases. I mean, I only bought a few of them with my own money, but... Yeah, I'm really happy with all of that, and um, I think a lot of shops right now are doing really nice clothes, summer clothes, so um, it's definitely a good year for summer clothes. So that's basically it. Uh, I have a lot of videos coming up, so I'll probably be uploading a lot this coming week, like my favorite jewelry, um, summer makeup essentials, summer clothing essentials. Uh, my eyebrow tutorial and a travel makeup video because someone suggested it like what you should what you could bring when you go traveling um, and a review on my Laura Mercier primer and foundation so yeah um, stay tuned for all those videos coming up soon and um, have a good night everyone bye